the Jason Whiskey Wise. Myself, Jason, today bringing you Whiskey Review into the Talisker Sky. So in the last video, I actually reviewed the Talisker 10 and I'll leave a link to it up here, which we just did. And everyone seems to like the Talisker 10. It's actually one of my favorite expressions. And I think it's a really easy go-to whiskey, personally for myself from the islands, but I won't give you too much information. I'll let you go and check out the review. So we're gonna be doing the Talisker Sky. And the Talisker Sky, was released in 2015. It was pretty much a, a, a whiskey that was meant to be a bit lighter than the classic Talisker 10 year old. And it's meant to be a bit more softer, easy going, a bit more mellow, and at the same time maintaining a, more characters of fruity and floral aspects, making it more easier for people that couldn't really palate the 10 year old. But it is, I'll explain it as, as we go through as well, but what's its style and everything about it. So. We'll actually begin by evaluating the age of this whiskey. We're not going to go too far along ahead. I actually picked up these three as well in a in a trio pack, which I'll leave a picture over here. It was 15 pounds, and it pretty much gave me all three entry level Talisker's. And I'm going to be doing the Storm next because that's meant to be the version sort of more heavier than the 10 year old and, and at entry level. So in terms of age, it's a no age statement, bottled at an ABV of 45.8%. It's actual cast selection of this one are a combination of refill and toasted American oak. So you're going to be getting a little bit more of those sort of refill characters and being a much more rounded whiskey overall. Now the actual distillery itself is a Talisker distillery located on the Isle of Skye. As you can see, it's so picturesque, just on the edge near the water. Uh, the actual parent company is Diageo, who own them. And they're located, as I've already mentioned, on the Isle of Skye in Scotland, known as the Islands of Scotland. Now the actual price point on the full size bottle, and I thought it'd be important to include a picture of the big size bottle because it does have a lighter appearance in the box. And you can tell sometimes from marketing teams and their design of boxes, how the whiskey can be. So sometimes a much lighter box means the whiskey is meant to be a bit more lighter and softer. So little tricks if you're looking for whiskey or developing into learning more whiskeys. Now, I also went and bought a 10 year old uh, to do a comparative test as I felt that would be really cool to understand the flavors and complexities and differences. So also, um, the price on that one I forgot to mention is around about 25 to 38 pounds. It's regular price in the UK is 35 to, Mr. Bananas is gone for the night. So he was drowsy in the last video and I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna pop him back on the table, let him lie down. He is, he's tired. He done the Dalmore range, now he's into Talisker and he should be back for the 30, I, I guarantee that. But anyway, so getting back to the price point, it's around about 25 uh, at the minute on promotion in Tesco's and also on Master and Malt, I think it's 26 pounds. And that's for a 70 old bottle versus its regular retail price of 38, and 35 to 38 pounds. So you can see a massive 13 to 12 pound saving, which is big when it comes to whiskey. Now in terms of exclusivity, it's not exclusive. And in terms of caramel coloring, it does contain a slight bit of caramel color, I can imagine, because when you use a toasted cast, it does impart a little bit more color. But this is still so light, so it must be minute. So instead of assessing the color, we'll begin by assessing the nose. So into the nose. So to begin on the nose of the Talisker Sky, it is much more softer and approachable, and it's much more easier to nose because I'm getting much more softer, fruitier characters. On the 10, I'm picking a little bit more of the stronger sort of peppery spices. Sort of like a chili pepper, but on the sky, we start with sour green apples. I'm getting a little bit of heathered honey. A slight note of even dried pear. There is a little bit of a smoky character in there, but it's almost like if you've taken fruit and you put them on a barbecue, and you're getting that sort of a, a sweet smoky aroma, which is really unusual, but that's what I'm getting on this one. There is that slight salty maritime character, but it's more subdued than on the 10 year old. I'm even getting vanilla fudge, which is actually a very nice sweeter character to pick out on the nose. There is a little bit of salted meats, a bit of green cardamom. White pepper is still showing up, which I actually found on the 10 and a little bit of a very gentle smoky character. That sweet smoke that I mentioned before, which actually I didn't pick up so much on the 10 when I nosed it. I didn't pick up such a sweet smoke. It was 
Actually, all my smoke was not even evident on the nose. It was more spices on the tin. So definitely more fruity, a lot of green fruits on the nose. Let's get into the palette next, Solange. So palette wise, to begin on the Talisker Sky, entry onto the palette, it arrives quite light and it doesn't really develop this one. Maybe a little bit of development, but I'm still gonna say it's a light texture on the palette. It doesn't become viscous and it's quite easy going and mellow. The ABV is still 45.8, but it does feel a little bit more punchier and youthful. It does have notes of those green apples, but it's more like a green apple crumble. I'm getting a little bit of white peppery spice. A little bit of note of that maritime, salty, briny character really coming through on this one. And it's got a little bit of a citrus note, like a green lime, but lime pith. But maybe even a combination of even a bit of lime juice in this one. It's really sort of sour, but then at the same time, it becomes softer and sweeter. There's even an aspect of a slight candy ginger approach in this one, where you get that sweetness and then it's followed up by heat, which I'm finding quite evident on the middle of the palette and then going to the back of the palette, really warming up and I can feel it now as it went down, actually warming up the body. So I'm gonna have a second sip, see what other notes we pick up on the, on the palette. So here we go. Further assessment on the palette, definitely getting that candy ginger, that mouth warming feel now is more on the palette from the second sip. And I'm getting a little bit of what reminds me of like a pear strudel, but with sort of like vanilla custard combined with that, as it becomes a little bit more creamier as you take it to the back of the palate. On the front of the palate, more of those spices are pretty much revealing themselves. And the overall texture on the palate, again, I can say is a short, maybe short medium. It's not really a well, light medium. It's not really as heavy or what you'd expect when you want to see something a bit more richer. Is more, I'd say, straight away I'm off the back, I'm gonna say it's like a summery whiskey. It's very light and nice and refreshing. But let's get into the finish and come to my conclusions. So into the finish for the Talisker Sky. A nice, rich, briny character is coming out now from the final sip. I'm getting a little bit that reminds me of capers accompanied with a bit of spice and a smoky character, but that sweet smoke almost holding itself there and then as soon as you know it, or before you realize actually, there's a little bit of an oaky dryness and it's almost like, like a wipe effect where suddenly everything's gone, it's dried out and the finish is completely gone. And it's like a short, I'd say short medium finish. It's not very long. Mr. Bananas is back. He thinks that smelling salt to bring him back, but <laughs> he's actually, he's doing a good job. I, he's hanging in there. Uh, he's trying to support me as much as he can. So overall, I'm gonna give you my rating and my opinion on the Talisker Sky and oh my God, it's so cold today in my studio that my fingers, I can barely feel them. But I'm giving this one here an 82 out of 100, because my comparison with the actual Talisker 10 is I noticed that the 10 has a little bit more complexity, even though it is a 10 year expression. In terms of the flavor profile, the sky is definitely lighter, much more apple, green apple, green pear, conference pears, a bit of lime going through, but still maintaining the house style Talisker with that peppery spice, followed up by a little bit of smoke and that coastal briny, little bit of sea spray that follows behind. So overall, it still embodies the house style, but it's a bit lighter, a bit more approachable. So if you find the 10 a bit too pungent, a bit too strong, give the Sky a go. It's actually gonna be one of the whiskeys I highly recommend if you're enjoying, if you like a lighter whiskey for summer uh, with all these characters. This I think would be a stunning whiskey for summertime. It would just click like this, it's nice and light, it's refreshing and I think you could actually be able to make a lot of different uh, versions if you had to do mixology with the Talisker Sky. It would be a really versatile whiskey to play with. But 82 out of 100 is my final score for the Talisker Sky. Personally, I just like a bit more texture and a bit more length in my whiskey and I just didn't get that so much in the sky. But it's still a great whiskey. I'm not going to take it away from that. Mr. Bananas, hopefully he recovers. And on that note, I'm going to wrap the video at that. If you have enjoyed but I mean, feel free to drop it a like, share it with your friends. And be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel for staying up to date with more videos. I'll leave some other Tasker videos here on screen. But on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas, who's trying to get back in it. And we will catch you all for the next video. Salaja.